Hello all, I am Sangeeta from Sri Venteshwara College of Engineering from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. Today, let's discuss about one of the interesting subjects that is CAD. CAD stands for Computer Aided Engineering Drawing. What actually is engineering drawing? Engineering drawing deals with the representation of an object by using simple geometric terms like arc, line, circle and different polygons and engineering drawing is the combination of graphical representation dimensioning and annotations today we'll solve one problem in CAD and the problem is a square lamina of 30 mm side rests on HP with one of its edges the surface makes an angle 45 degree to HP. The edge on which it rests is inclined to VP at 30 degree. Draw its projection. First, let's draw an XY line. XY line is a thin line, so we'll give normal. Above XY line, it is vertical plane and below XY line, it is horizontal plane. Now, let's draw a square of 30 mm side. So, we'll use a rectangular bar where the width is 30 and the height is 30. Angle is 90 degree because the edge is resting on HP. So, let's place it in an horizontal plane. We'll give annotations for the square. C and D. Now let's measure one of the side of a square. It is 30 degree. Now let's draw a projection line from each corner of the square till XY line. And the projection line is a thin line. Let's draw arrowhead. Now let's draw a line from the projection point by using a visible line. Let's draw a visible line. Now we'll give annotations for this. A dash of D dash. And here it is B dash of C dash. Now they have given the surface makes an angle 45 degree to HP. Now let's copy the element and move. Now it is inclined to 45 degree to HP. So let's rotate this for 45 degree. The rotation angle is 45 degree. 
Now let's again draw a projection line from A dash of B dash and B dash of C dash. Projection line is a thin line. Minus now let's draw a projection line from D and C. Let's draw the arrow it. Now let's join all the corners by using a zipper line. Let's give naming A, B, C, and D. So here the angle is 45 degrees. So let's measure angle. Angle between it is 45 degree. Now the edge on which it is rest is inclined to be at 30 degree. So let's draw a line of 30 degree. And it is a normal line. Now we have to place this square on a VP inclination. So first let's measure VP inclination. It is 30 degree. 30 degree. So now let's move the rectangle. Let's point the resting corner A on VP inclination. Now we have to rotate the square in such a way that the resting corner should be inclined to VP. So the resting edge is A and D. So the resting edge has to be inclined to VP at 30 degree. So let's hold point A to D. Let's rotate. Now again let's draw a projection line from A, B, C, D towards X, Y line and above. The projection line is a normal line. So from D. A and D comes on an XY line. So D is projected till the XY line and C is projected upward. And again A is projected towards XY line. And B is projected towards X, Y line. Now let's draw the arrowhead. Now let's join all the corners by using visible line. Line. 
Now let's name the corners. This is A dash, B dash, C dash, and this one is D dash. Now we are in. We have to do make it as visible line. Now here it is lamina on HP. Lamina on HP. Here it is lamina. Lamina inclined to HP. Lamina inclined to sorry, edge inclined to VP. H inclined to V. This is about the projection of a square of 30 mm side where it looks like a rectangle in an horizontal plane when it is inclined to HP at 45 degree and if it is inclined to VP at 30 degree it looks like a parallel. Thank you.